Hello everyone. I hope you all are doing well. Today the subject of my talk is linguistics, IP and phonology. This is the third portion which you will see in English specialization test for, for, for TLS. In this portion you will see 20 questions which is almost 16% of the whole test. Let's discuss the MCQs and first of all let's uh, have a look at the definition of this test or the overall aim of this test, this portion especially. This section actually assesses the teacher's knowledge of general linguistics including understanding of the IPA and phonology. Let's have a look at the MCQs from this portion. And there are so many MCQs which you may see in the real test as well. So one of them is uh, question number one which is the correct IPA transcription for the word for the word fat. So here answer number uh, you can see here option number A is the correct answer. Fat. Let me mention it. Fat answer A. For this second word, actually this is the correct transcription of the word feet. And the third one is the correct pronunciation of uh, fit and then next is the correct pronunciation for fit question 2 sociolinguistics psycholinguistics neurolinguistics stylistics discourse analysis computational linguistics cognitive linguistics and applied linguistics are known as here answer number b second answer sorry not b this is actually third answer let me do it answer b is wrong answer d is correct macro linguistics question number three the teacher shows the chil children a picture of a caterpillar she wants to work on phoneme identification so she says here option number a is the correct answer what is the first sound in caterpillar so teacher will say this <coughs> if she wants to check if she wants to work on phoneme of the child actually phoneme is the study of minimal or the smallest unit of sounds therefore the teacher will ask the first sound of the caterpillar question 4 which of the following represents the correct ipa transcription for the word cat here the correct answer is A cat the other words uh, this is caught this is the correct transcription for maybe caught or silent and this one can be the correct pronunciation for caught and this one is the correct pronunciation for cut Question number five. What is the primary function of the International Phonetic Alphabet IPA? Here answer, num answer number C. Option number C is the correct answer. To transcribe speech sounds accurately. Actually, this is the primary function of this IPA is to provide a standardized system for accurately representing the sounds of human speech acro across different languages. Question number six. Which of the following is an example of phoneme? Here option A is the correct answer. Uh, as I have uh, already told you that phoneme is the smallest unit of sound that, that can distinguish words in a particular language. So of course in this case pa is, is a phoneme because it can differentiate words like pat and bat. Pat and bat b a t bat what is phonology question number seven phonology is the study of how sounds function in a particular language option b question number eight which which one of the following is an example of a minimal pair this question 8 in this option number C is an example of a minimal pair. What is minimal pair? It is a pair of words that differ by only one sound in, in the same position. 
and this different difference results in a change of the meaning as well so of course here or oh, cat and hat here c and here h they they differ so these two words differ by only one sound they differ by only one sound so this is meaningful whereas dog and duck they they are not correct book and board they do not differ by only one sound whereas option c here cat and hat they differ by only one sound therefore option c is the correct answer question 4 which which of the following is a voiced constant uh, consonant sound option c is the correct answer so voiced uh, these voiced consonants they they involve the vibration of the vocal cords let me write here they involve vibration of uh the vocal cords so when we you say z sound z so it it involves this uh, a vibration of the vocal cords whereas the other sound sa tha the other so they sound may not be they, they may not involve the vibration of the vocal cords question number 10 which is uh, sorry what is the correct ipa transcription for the verb for the word sheep answer uh, option c is the correct answer whereas the first one I uh, shape this. <coughs> this uh, the first one may represent it. It may might be the correct pronunciation for the word ship. Second word, second of course this uh, S H. This is not a correct uh, or the standardized form of the uh, of IPA. And option where C is the correct answer. And again, this one is not the correct one. This give different context or not any standardized form. Question eleven: Which linguistic field studies the structure and components of words? So here, answer number option number C is the correct answer. Question number twelve: Which of the following terms refers to the study of the meanings of words and sentences? Semantics. On option number B. Question thirteen: Which of the following represents the correct ipa transcription of the word thought here option number a is the correct answer why because uh, in option number b a, it can be a transcription for a word like thought which is not a uh, uh, you can say a, a standardized form so it cannot be a correct pronunciation for thought so option a is correct whereas option c it may be a correct pronunciation for that all right and option d again is not a, it is non standard pronunciation of thought non standard this is not a standard whereas this is a non standard transcription of thought so here we go stay tuned to watch the entire playlist of, of all the sections because i'm going to upload of uh, uh, the the details of all the portions which are there in english specialization test and we will also cover the pedagogy portion later on thank you very much for watching and do not forget to subscribe and like thank you very much